Hello everybody, and good day to you all today. I'm talking about Batwoman season number one, episode number two, The Rabbit Hole, episode directed by Marco Sergei. In this episode here, we have a lot of crazy stuff going going on. You have um Alice pretty much telling um Kate that that that, that I'm your sister. And she pretty much and you see uh, she, she she pretty much leaves all these clues around, let them know I'm your sister. And she also these clues around to let her father know I'm your daughter. And, and so you're seeing how this affects everybody. So you have Kate who's willing to believe that Alice is her sister. Wants to help her and, and, and the guilt she's feeling for like abandoning her sister when when when, when, when and they're about to go over that bridge. She pretty much saved herself and let her sister fall. She felt guilty about that. In fact, they, they, they never found her. That, that guilt. And then watching her sister go down this dark path and being a psychopath, she, she just wants to save her. That's all she wants to do. Then you have her father, her father, who does believe it, but doesn't want to accept it, and, and, and because the fact that he didn't save his daughter, and now his daughter, his daughter has gone psycho and a serial killer, and that's something he does not want to believe. So he, so he pretty much pushing away from it as hard as he can, even though deep down you can tell he actually he does believe it. Then you have then you have um Kate's ex girlfriend, um, um, Sophie, who pretty much believes it too, but at the same time doesn't want to accept it either. But she also dealt with the guilt that for, for um, pretty much abandoning um Kate for leaving her for the whole military situation, and also also abandoning her even more by marrying a dude, by acting like she's happy. And then you have what's going on with um, with um Lena's um stepsister. And, and and um um Mary, who um, who's 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 being threatened because Alice sees her as her replacement, but she but she doesn't know that that Ruby and her never really had that close relationship. All she sees, but all, all Alice sees is a girl. Her sister did not look for her abandoned her, left her to die, and then that, as soon as she got a new family, forgot all about her. And so now she's seen this new girl as a new threat. So everybody knows about this whole Alice situation and how it's affecting everybody inside the group in a really messed up way. I like this whole storyline with this whole, the whole that's her sister situation. Very interesting twist to the, to the story. And I really do like that. It kind of forces um, Kate, Batwoman, and Alice, even though they're, they're different and their different personalities, pretty much kind of forces them together. And also, at the same time, they're, they're, they're pretty much apart too. I really do like that. And I think this episode is actually better than the first episode. I really do. But is this episode good? No, it's not. Because here's the problem. The main problem with this show is the main actress, Ruby Rose. Her, her, her performances is very stiff, very wooden. You don't feel anything from it. I think she's trying to do this whole stoic thing about her. Trying to, trying to be like more like the female Batman. But at the same time, it, it, since her acting is not that strong enough to pull it off, it just seems every, everything she says just sounds flat. There, there, I'm now, I'm not saying she's a lost cause. There are moments when you see traces of something there. But it's not strong enough to, to, for her to be the, the front runner for the show. Since, since all the storylines revolve around her, everything pretty much focused on her, and she's the lead star of the show, and she, she's the weak link. So it kind of brings everything down with her, which is not good. Because the thing is, though, everybody around her acts better. Even the girl who betrays her as her younger self acts better than her when she gets that she gets older. So this dag nabbit, the girl who shows who's supposed to be the younger version of you show more emotion than you do. I just this is so messed up. Yeah. And they and certain characters are okay. I mean you get the, the, the um you have the um the Luke Fox character who pretty much the sidekick who's played by Cameron Johnson. Now Luke now um Lucas Fox Son in the comic books actually became Batman, a Batman himself. He took, he took, he studied MMA. He was an MMA fighter. I was like, he also like did a little, little science too. So the way see him like this, like this kind of wimpy, kind of nerdy character. It, 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 I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to pretty much trying to make him like the Lucas from the from the Batman movies. They're trying to do that, but that's not really how Lucas. That's not how the character was in the comic books. But whatever, who cares? But overall, the show is improving. But this that in the story is actually pretty interesting. It's just that the main actor is not that good, so that hurts the show. Hopefully, she will improve and gets better as the show goes along. If it lasts that long, I I don't know. But I I is this I think I said the show the show this episode right here was better than the first one, but it's just not better. Yeah. See, Ruby Rose is very beautiful, and she actually is pretty. She's good in the action scenes and stuff like that too. 
physically, but the acting part, the emotional part, stuff like that, that's where she's, that's where she's weak, and, and that hurts a whole lot, yeah. Hopefully she might get some acting lessons or something like that too. Take some classes and while, while she's going through this, maybe it might not help. I, I don't know. Something. She needs to do something. Because, oh, I mean, even Supergirl has this moment, but the, but everybody in that show can, can act. So, th this is not helping. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. Like, like I said, it's better, but just not there yet. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Batwoman. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a little like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say in my dreams of life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.